Hey guys, welcome to my review slash discussion thing for Steven Universe the movie. Now, we did this review slash discussion thing for the entirety of Infinity Train Season 1, so I thought, why not do it again? I stated multiple times that this is a good system that you guys like, and that it, it really like holds you guys over before the next big video, or if I'm not able to do something in a week, uh, I can just do this instead. So, uh... I thought I'd do the exact same thing for the Steven Universe movie because that came out last night and I've already watched it three times and it hasn't even been out for a day. So I think I got my thoughts in. So let's just jump right into it. So last night, the Steven Universe movie aired and I watched it with the boys, Joel, Ethan, and my friend Marita. And we all had a pretty wonderful time. And I, like I said, I watched the movie three times now, once with them, once with my brother, and then once on my own. So I, I know what the movie is about now. And let me, I'm going to try to keep spoilers at a minimum since the movie just came out. I'm going to say it right now. Basically, this is the gist of my thoughts. Steven Universe, the movie, is the best Steven Universe thing ever. Like, Period. I mean, it's just in my opinion, of course, and opinions are always subjective, but come on, this is probably the peak right here. Kind of like how Smash Ultimate is the, probably going to be the peak of Smash. This is, this is likely going to be the peak until maybe the finale. I don't even know what they're going to do after this movie, because once again, it has the same problem as Change Your Mind, where like, where do we go from here? I, I, I know I should probably be saving my thoughts like on what's after the movie like later in the video huh so i'll i'll, I'll probably do that <laughs> i'm stuttering a lot but anyway steven universe the movie like i said best steven universe thing ever to be released it has great music great animation great style great voice acting the voice actor for spinero the villain of the music the movie is definitely my favorite villain like in the series, one of the best villains ever. Great motives, great backstory, and great design, great animation. Her her design and animation, like, what she does in the movie is so fluid. And it's so interesting. And her voice is just so great. Her The delivery Sarah Styles, the voice of Spinel gives, it's just, oh my god, it's just so good. And her songs, I can already tell you right now, her villain song is going to just be TikToked to death. I can tell you right now. It's number four on YouTube trending right now. It's called uh, uh, Other Friends. And it is definitely one of the best songs in the movie, if not the best song in the movie. And it is really good. So, Steven Universe the movie is a musical. Uh, its soundtrack has 36 songs on it, 12 of which have lyrics. And that that's just a wonderful feat the voice of the diamonds finally get to sing and considering they're actual broadway musical singers it was so epic just hearing the harmonies that christine ebersole patty lapone and uh whichever the voice actress for blue diamond is i forgot her name already they just the harmonies it sounds like the diamond chant harmony and it's just so good. Let Us Adore You is a really good song. The reprise at the beginning, like the recap of the series at the beginning, it reminds me of the opening for Shrek with its storyboard style and the first like big Disney like song. It's with so grand, Happily Ever After. Definitely my favorite song in the entirety of Steven Universe. It's five minutes and 20 seconds long. It's basically a big recap of the series and looking towards the future. There's this thing at the beginning of the movie where it, it's like a showcase of every villain in the series and it was just so cool but the movie in its itself is an amnesia story it's about it's about uh the gyms losing all their memories thanks to uh spinel the villain and steven has to go on a journey to get everyone's memories back so they're gonna help save the world from spinel's uh uh, injector thing which is going to destroy all organic life in 41 hours and that's pretty cool. The stakes, the stakes are there, aren't really uh, n there until the end of the film, but that's not really a big complaint. I do have some complaints though. Uh, some of the characters from the series definitely got shafted in this movie. I'm glad. I'm glad most of the spotlight went to Bismuth, Lapis, and Peridot. Actually, they they were like pretty much the entire focus of of 
of uh, Act 2. And that I thought that was really cool. They actually got to do stuff in the movie. And uh, Bismuth's song in the movie, it, it's just so good. I love how they literally just added lyrics to her theme song. But a lot of other characters got shafted in the film. Connie, she's literally written out of the film at the beginning. She has like two minutes of screen time. Uh, Lars and the off colors have no lines in the movie whatsoever. Lars, Lars is like in the ending song, but he, he like sings two lines, but they literally do nothing in the movie, but Lars is a chef now. So that, that's cool. And there are other like homeworld gems like Jasper and the, the pearls, the diamonds, pearls, and even the diamonds, though they did have significant roles in the beginning and the end. I, I see. I know why they weren't in the movie. I like how the diamonds are literally just like overprotective parents now and they like guilt trip their children. <laughs> They're like grandparents. And I, I love that. And but a lot of the characters got shafted. I'm and pumpkin, by the way, wasn't even in the movie. Is she dead? Who knows? And then not only that, I, I see a lot of people like complaining that the villain got redeemed, but that's just, the, it wouldn't be Steven Universe if she didn't get redeemed, because that's just, that's just how Steven Universe works. And Steven's nose was bleeding, the action was great. I'm not going to dive into spoilers too much, I think I'm actually going to end it around here, but overall, Steven Universe the movie is definitely one of the best, like, ever i said whenever it was announced in that video i did like i man i really hope the movie just looks like the poster but i know it's not and i'm proud to announce the movie did look like the poster the just the animation the shading the, it, it was just all great the soundtrack's out the movie's out on the cartoon network app you can watch it um but yeah that's about it if i were to give this movie a rating i'd probably give it an 8.5 maybe a 9 there were definitely some pro problems with the pacing it felt a little slow but other than that it was definitely a great movie from start to finish and wherever we go from here i i don't know where we're where steven universe can go from here because like i said at the beginning of the video the movie has the same problem as change your mind as literally I don't think there's anywhere they can go from here. The, a lot of the plot holes that change your mind left, like lions, the chest and lion's mane, that that was shown to be open, but we don't actually know what's in in the main. There's no villains to fight. There, there's nothing. I actually don't know where the where the series can go from here. And there's supposedly more on the way, so we'll just have to wait and see. But just know I will be sure to cover it. So if you want to see that happen, be sure to subscribe. And hey, speaking of subscribe, we're almost at a thousand. And I'm proud to announce that once I reach a thousand subscribers, me and the boys will re read the entire script of Avengers Infinity War. And we'll have storyboards on screen and it, it'll just be epic. So if you want to see that happen, be sure to subscribe. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. We're literally only eight subscribers away. So thank you guys for supporting me. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, take care. Bye.